Hiya and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is all about this, the Altair 800mm F4 Imaging Newtonian. So without further ado, let's get into it. So here we have it, the Altair 800mm F4. The tube length is 730mm by 230mm with an 8 inch parabolic mirror, uh, primary mirror. Um, it's also got an enlarged secondary mirror and this helps when you're using larger, larger sensor cameras make sure that the uh, sensor is fully illuminated. The collimation screws there hold, hold collimation really really well and I found that the tube um, it's been really, really good on the on the on the, sh the sh short few imaging runs I've had. Here at the back, you can see you've got your collimation screws, bolts, and also you've got a 12 volt fan fan there that you can uh, plug a battery pack into, and it helps keep the tube nice and cool while you're imaging. But I've chosen to use um, a dew band, and I'll come onto that a little bit later on. So, yep, overall this tube's great. And one thing I have changed on here is I've put a Losmandi plate rather than using the standard Vixen dovetail that it does come with. But I'll just put a Losmandi on there because it is a heavy scope. Um, this here weighs approximately 11 kilograms. The tube weight on its own is about nine and a half. But with all the imaging and uh, guiding equipment on here, it's just around about 11 kilos. So you'll need to make sure you've got a sturdy mount and a mount mine on my EQ6R Pro. It does come with a, an 8x50 finder, well, obviously I don't use it, uh, the bracket for it is there. Um, I, I mount my guide scope on the top of the tube here, yeah, I find it helps balance out, the, uh, balance out the weight of the camera underneath. So yeah, it's a standard 110 um, focuser, Crayford, it's, it's great, it holds focus really really well. And also I found that the collimation is quite simple to do. Um, it holds collimation really, really well. I hardly have to adjust it each night, um, which is great because it saves a lot of time and effort. So there you have it. There's the tube. So there you go. There was a, a quick um, view around the tube and what it has to offer. Like I said, I've used it on a couple of nights now, and to be fair, the imaging data, data gathering quality is absolutely fantastic. Um, really, really pin sharp the stars once you've got your collimation right. Um, and also, obviously, you'll need to use a baton off mask to help you get that focus. Now, with all scopes, there's, there's good and bad, so what's the bad? Um, I'm not going to lie, it's quite a big scope, it's quite a uh, tricky to mount, so just make sure you take your time. What I tend to do is use this as a handle. Don't hold it by any here, anywhere here, but tend to hold it by the rings or the, or the lasmandi and mount it uh, accordingly. Now one, probably what I consider its biggest fault is the light leaks. People, Newtonian owners will tell you that um, they are a sieve uh, for light leaks. And this has got two primary light leaks that I've addressed. One was in the focuser here. And what I've simply done is put a, a hairband around around the focuser there to stop the light coming in there. But the biggest light leak is here at the, at the bottom of the scope where the fan actually integrates into the bottom of the tube. And to, to counter that, I've used the hat that Altair gave me um, when, I put, when I purchased the camera. So just literally put the beanie on the bottom of the scope as such, and that then stops any light leak at the bottom and that is the reason why I use the uh, dew band rather than using the fan to cool the scope down. So yeah, a good use of the, of the beanie there. But it's um, value for money is absolutely fantastic. You know, it's the price point of making this video is about £515 plus your delivery. For what you get for an 800mm uh, tube and uh, F4, you can't get much better than that. They are called light buckets. And um, I think this is going to be my go-to scope during the upcoming galaxy season. Happy to answer any questions you guys have got, so post them in the comments and I'll try and help you where I can. I'll put a link to the scope 
in the uh, in the description below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all again soon. Clear skies.